I'm in Israel, learning about jobs in the time of Jesus. And there's a pretty important job you can't miss if you read the New Testament, because at least four of the disciples of Jesus were fishermen. So I've come north to the Sea of Galilee to find out why. This is Chaim Weitzman, a second generation fisherman who grew up right here on the shores of the Galilee. We're gonna fish where the disciples fished and maybe find out the connection between this job and Jesus' earliest followers. We're fishing for tilapia, which has been swimming in these waters since before the time of the disciples. Now, they call it St. Peter's fish, named after, guess who? Very good. First fish in a net. Look at that. This is bigger, but mine's tougher. How many fish do we norm? Do you catch every it's day? It's one one hundred kilo. A hundred kilo. A hundred kilo. Yeah. In one one net. One net. Yeah. Well, I caught slightly less than that, and I'm gonna cook them up biblical style. Hi, Jim. Hello there, Ari. How are you? All right. Look at that. I'm impressed. Ah, uh, wait a second. A little. Biblical uh, garnish here for you. A little as well. biblical garnish. Well, very nice indeed. While Jim enjoys my expertly caught and brilliantly cooked St. Peter's fish, I ask him about the biblical fishing business. First of all, you fish with nets. That's mm. that's what's economical if you're trying to do something commercial. And then when you fish with nets in the ancient world, you fish at night because the fish can't see the nets at night. In order to keep your clothes from being ruined by the wash and bringing in nets and so on. You usually fish naked. <laughs> <laughs> the TV viewers will be glad that I, I, I didn't try that experiment. But, uh, that's a little too much. These people, I mean, fishing in ancient times around here, they, are, they, are they poor? Oh, not at all. This is the most stable industry for this area. According to the writings of the first century eyewitness Josephus, the Galilee had a thriving economy with a salting factory to preserve fish for export. This was a good business. And in the nearby fishing village of Bethsaida, where many of the disciples came from, there's more evidence of how profitable the job fishing could be. Bethsaida is right on a major international trade route, the Via Maris. You've heard of the road to Damascus? Well, it starts down in Egypt and goes right through here. This is the site of Bethsaida. It's a major city in Jesus' lifetime. The image in my head of poor fishermen gets dispelled in Bethsaida, where archaeologists have discovered evidence of a middle-class lifestyle. How do you know these were houses of the fishermen? Well, because um, weights from, for fishing nets have been found here. Uh, they have actually found the, the bones of fish here. This is the courtyard of the house of the fisherman. And this is the wine cellar. The wine cellar. And this is what we need to find out if they're wealthy or not. Because all the houses look the same on the outside. It's what's on the inside that tells us their level of wealth. They found tall jars of the type that are used for wine. If they're collecting wine and going to a lot of trouble to corbel this over, and to make a cool place, then they're they're trying to preserve a collection of wine. Pretty wine. Yeah, yeah. You can store quite a lot then. You? Yeah, so you don't express your wealth by decorating the house on the outside. You accumulate things on the inside that indicate your wealth. What would this tell you about the life of fishermen around here? Well, it tells us that they can accumulate a lot of capital, that they're really rather well off. The disciples, they weren't poor they're fishermen they might be fishermen contractors you know they might have a lot of boats out there and they might be doing very well and they were better off than other tradespeople. basically yes. mm -hmm. some of them lived here yeah some of them actually lived here came from Bethsaida so Peter and Andrew particularly <laughs> right in this neck of the woods is it yeah we could be looking at their houses and not knowing it You know, it makes sense that the disciples would have had well-paying jobs because the Jesus movement is a rebellion, a revolution, and that takes cash as well as belief. We're seeing a transition between the Old Testament and the New, and jobs are one of the key differences. In the South, the farmers and shepherds of the Bible are at the mercy 
of the rain and the seasons. But in the north, the New Testament stories are all about fishing, a year-round and stable business. 